hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is the first video in my geography revision series um i'm mainly making this because i'd have loved to have a series of videos like this when i was doing my levels back in i don't know when was it now 2017 into 2019 i did my levels um yeah so i just thought i'd make it for the people that really want it and even if you're not doing geography A level right now, it might just be interesting to learn something about the world. So this is the first video in the Tectonic Processes and Hazards series. This is a core module, I think, on the Edexcel specification. Um, but this is obviously can be used for whatever specification. I just did the Edexcel one, so this is where my speciality lies. Um, yeah. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of background on my geographical knowledge. So at A-level, as I've said, I studied Edexcel A-level Geography um, and I sat my A-levels in 2019. I came out with an A, uh, which I was really happy with. And this revision series is going to be based mainly off the notes that I made during my A-levels um, and any that I've added on since. So at the moment I'm doing a joint degree between Geography and Education Studies at Liverpool Hope. Um, sorry, if you see me looking down here, my laptop's here with my notes on it. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a combination of my revision from A-level and things I've added on since. Um, I'll try and reference all the relevant textbooks and journals and academic articles down below in the description box. Um, that I refer to so you can follow up as and when it may be necessary and if you do so fancy. Um, as I've said before, the format of this video will, well, the series of videos will follow the Edexcel specification. Um, I'll link that again in the description. It should just be on the Edexcel website and it is the new geography course. I was the first year of this course um, so I really don't think a lot has changed but um, yeah, I, I think it's basically the same, but obviously with COVID, you might not be able to do field work in the same way, but yeah, um, I'm going to be focusing on more of the content rather than the field work aspect because it makes more sense for me to do that. So this is the start of the tectonic hazards and processes section. I'll break it down into three parts in line with the specification or as the Edexcel specification calls them, inquiry questions. Um, they will encompass all of the topics that I'll cover and then at the end there'll be an overall roundup of the topic along with synoptic topics, things that link in with them really well, related books, um, TV series, films, music etc um, so that you can engage with the subject without revising. But if you can just surround yourself with as much geography knowledge even in your spare time, even in your free time um, Obviously that's excellent. So the three sections that I'm going to be following in this series are number one, why are some locations more at risk from tectonic hazards? Number two, why did some tectonic hazards develop into disasters? Number three, how successful is the management of tectonic hazards and disasters? Um, these videos will be uploaded weekly, at the very least I'll try and get some more up um, in the lead up to exam periods um, and I'll carry on until the whole specification is covered. Um, I'm going to do it in chunks, so this is tectonic hazards and processes, then I'm going to do glaciation, then globalisation I think, then possibly superpowers and so on so on. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below and I will try and answer them. Obviously, I'm not a geography doctor, but I can try. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope this is the start of something really exciting for you all. Um, I hope you're learning something. Obviously, this is just a bit of a recap or a summary at the start. Um, but all of the links for everything I've mentioned will be down below in the description box. And... If you know someone else who might find this really useful, don't forget to send that over to them. Um, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I will see you soon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and yeah, see you in the future. Bye!